We use a simple formula to solve these kind of filling up a tank problems. It's based on the dirt problem. Distance is rate times time. Distance equals rate times time. But in this case, we're not traveling a distance, and our rate isn't a rate of moving. It's a rate of emptying or filling a tank, and we want to fill that whole tank. So the formula we use is filling the tank or emptying it, one, for filling, equals rate divide, uh, times time. And I say one because normally to fill a tank, we want to get it to 100%, or usually expressed as one. So if we want to find the time to fill the tank, it's time equals filling it, which again, we want to get to one, 100% divided by the rate. Well, we have three pipes kind of working against each other. A fills this tank in five hours. Therefore, in every hour, A fills one-fifth of the tank. One-fifth times five will be one, 100% full. B fills the tank in six hours, so therefore per hour fills one-sixth of the tank. And C empties the tank in 12 hours, therefore empties one-twelfth of the tank per hour. So then we set up our formula. We want to get the whole tank full, so one, we want it 100% full. Divide it by the rate. Well, the rate is A and B are working to fill it, so it's one-fifth plus one-sixth. But C is working to empty it, so we subtract what C is doing, minus one-twelfth. And that's going to give us the time in hours to fill this tank. Because A and B working together, you can see since their fractions represent actually larger numbers per hour, they're filling that tank faster than C can empty that tank. So let's just do the math. It's one divided by, and we need the least common denominator, we will use 60. 5 goes into 60 12 times. 12 times 1 is 12. Plus 6 goes into 60 10 times. 10 times 1 is 10. Minus 12 goes into 65 times. 5 times 1 is 5. And that equals the time in hours, which also equals 1 divided by 12 plus 10 is 22 minus 5 is 17. 1 divided by 17 over 60. When we divide by a fraction, we multiply by the inverse of the fraction. So it's 1 times 60 over 17, or 60 over 17, which equals 3 is uh, in the 9 seventeenths. And of course, the unit is hours. So even though C is pumping out a little bit of water, A and B are working a lot faster. And altogether, even with C's detraction, we will finish this tank, and we will finish filling up this tank in three and nine seventeenths hours.